All right, so we have the Seven of Swords collective. It's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, or this could just be someone being sneaky, doing something sneaky. I think this came out the other day. This is for all signs, Aries through Pisces. It may not resonate for you. It is a collective reading. I'm just going to go with the flow here. What do we need to know about this energy? Someone feels defeated or they're going to get caught or they're trying to be sneaky to defeat someone. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They want to defeat someone. So they're being sneaky. Yeah, they've been plotting and planning. Yeah, they're working together with other people to be sneaky with some sort of plot or plan to defeat someone. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, there, there, there's some sort of group effort here or someone's putting a lot of meticulous work. So he's being very meticulous about how he's going to deal with something here. Yeah, definitely working on something. But someone's getting karma, okay? Someone's getting karma. Let me see, which deck should I use? We're going to use the Literary Witches Oracle. I haven't used that deck in a while. Hi, Rippin' Deep. We'll do Q&A in a moment. If y'all could, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and put your question in the chat box. We're going to look at this sketchy person with their plotting and planning here. What they've been working on to defeat someone. Show me the Seven of Swords spirit. Show me the Seven of Swords. One card, please. One card. Thank you. We have the rabbit. Ooh. This could be about taking someone down a rabbit hole. This could be about snaring a rabbit. Rabbits get trapped. This could be about trapping someone. This could also be about time. Someone doing time, getting time. It's someone here that's a lone wolf. It's someone who walks alone on this journey. Okay. Let's look at this rabbit. Where the hell's the rabbit at? Oh, here it is. Waiting, making leaps, and adventure. Waiting. So someone's been waiting. Someone's been waiting to, like, bring this plan together to defeat somebody with the... I wish, there we go. With the five of swords in reverse, it's about defeat. So someone's been waiting to like bring this plan together. They've been working on it in the background. We have the wolf here. The wolf.
the, the self without others, a calling, the great expanse. So this is someone who they could be working alone or they're working against someone that's alone. Okay. But they feel a calling to defeat someone or they feel a calling to come against someone who works alone. Okay. Whoever the seven of swords person is. Let's see what their karma is. Because they're getting karma. Because they, they could be working against someone. That's. Uh, they're living in their purpose. Or. They have a calling. They have like the, the, the universe. Or God has a plan for their life. And they're doing something here to defeat someone. That's living in their purpose. Or they have a calling. They've been chosen to do something in this lifetime. Okay. We have karma here. So let's see what their karma is for coming up against this wolf energy. Show me their karma, spirit. What is their karma? The apple. I heard the poison apple. Or bad fruit. Or they're bearing bad fruit. The apple is usually about temptation. So they're going to be looked at as bad fruit. Because you wouldn't be attracted to a rotten apple. You wouldn't want to eat a rotten apple. You'd say, ew, yuck, it's rotten, right? It smells bad. It looks bad. That doesn't look good. So their karma is that they're going to be viewed as something that's not tempting. It's not seductive. It's not appealing to the eye. They're going to be seen as something that's rotten. They're going to see. They're going to be seen as something rotten. Okay, bad fruit. That's what they are. They could also bear bad fruit, which means like if they're trying to produce something with this work, or they're waiting for something that they're building to grow, it's not going to grow. They're going to produce bad fruit. That's their karma. The Seven of Swords person. Let's look at the wolf energy. Because I want to look at it deeper. Spirit, show me who's this wolf. What's this energy around this wolf? Who is this wolf? Give us more details or information about this wolf. King of Wands reversed. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this is like trying to stop someone from taking action or Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This could be a wife. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Pisces. Someone's stuck though. Someone's stuck here. Some sort of soulmate situation. We also have Virgo. Someone could have a very unloving, unkind wife. Or they're just unnurturing. They're a very unnurturing person. Ungrounded, unstable, unnurturing. They want someone to be stuck. They don't want someone to have a passionate new beginning. But this person's single. This wolf is single. Like I said, they're alone. This person works alone. They're not a part of any group. They're not a part of nothing. They're a lone wolf. Show me here who this uh, King of Wands is. What is this deal? Yeah, see, he's living in the past. Or in the past, this King of Wands didn't take action. Show me more about this King of Wands. Wars and battles. Okay, this is someone who wants to fight. They like to create drama. They like to start shit. Or they wanted to be involved in some, some sort of war or battle. Here with a lone wolf against a lone wolf. 
Show me this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, okay, something about biblical. So it's like, you know, the, the letter of the law or something by the book. Something to do with religion. A spiritual war, spiritual battle, or someone being legalistic about something, or... Maybe this Queen of Pentacles wanted to do something by the book. I don't know. Show me this Pisces energy, this hangman, this person that feels stuck or wanted someone to be stuck. Yeah, something to do with vows. Trapping someone with vows. Somebody wanted to trap someone with their vows. Show me this soulmate energy, this past energy. Native American, someone's ancestors are involved. Or there's a soulmate here that has Native American descendants or their descend their descent of Native American somewhere in the bloodline. Someone has a soulmate here from the past. Okay, that could be Native American or someone's ancestors are here. With this lone wolf. They could be in the wolf clan. Okay. They could be part of a clan. They could belong to the wolf clan. Okay. Show me something about this uh, Virgo Nine of Pentacles single energy. Because someone's single. Again, single being like the wolf, the lone wolf, right? Someone single. Show me the Virgo energy. Wisdom. Someone has the wisdom. That's why they stand alone or that's why they're single. Because they have the wisdom about something or someone. Someone who might have tried to trap them with vows. Okay. Someone who was involved in some sort of war or battle or trying to bring some sort of spiritual um spiritual or religious tactics against someone to trap them in vows or someone has the wisdom though someone wanted someone to be stuck they were plotting and planning here they're getting karma though they're getting karma. They're being seen as a bad apple, right? That's their karma. Show me this passionate new beginning because there's an opportunity for someone to have a passionate new beginning here. Something to do with Egypt. Could have something to do with a masculine, a man. Masculine energy, something to do with resurrecting something, reincarnation, something being reincarnated, something from the past, someone from the past, something, an opportunity, there's like a window, a window of opportunity, it's in the sky, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a doorway, gateway. It's like a window of opportunity to like transform or reincarnate something from the past. It's like a gateway. Show me this energy. Yeah, releasing some form of fear, getting over a fear, something from the past. What is this fear about? What is this fear that needs to be released or it's going to be released? And this window of opportunity here with this gateway or something being reincarnated from the past, having an opportunity. Show me what this fear is. Something to do with braids. Somebody could have braids. Or this is about being like Binded to something like binding someone, a binding spell. 
trying to bind someone to something from the past. Someone tried to do a binding spell. Let's look at the braids here. If I can find the braids, where are the braids? Yeah, here it is. It's about identity, survival, and the opinions of others. So this is about someone releasing the fears of being judged or the opinions of others and going through some sort of gateway, reinventing themselves or being reincarnated into a new version of themselves. Okay. It's also about survival, needing to cut away. You see how the braid is loose? She cut the braid off her head. So she it's about cutting something at the root cutting something off, like cutting a snake's head off. I kind of feel like that too. Um, and then I also feel what the braid is about, you know, tying things together. It could be about binding, someone wanting to bind someone to something from the past. So what were they binding this person to in the past? Judgment of others, fear of being judged. The book, something was written in a book or someone wrote something. Someone could be an author, someone could write books or somebody wrote something here. And a book could be a Bible, could have something to do with like a Bible, like a, a religious book with biblical being there. The book, Hope, Revelation, and Ignorance. Hope, Revelation, and Ignorance. Mm -hmm. This could be like a book of spells or they wrote something in the book. They could have took somebody's hair or they could have took their DNA. Okay, they could have tried and do some sort of binding spell to keep someone in fear, to keep them from... Um, becoming a new version of themselves to keep them from transforming and going through this gateway and having, you know, be reincarnated as a new individual that that doesn't have these fears or these phobias of being judged or treated unfairly. OK. It's about like um, quant quantum physics as well quantum physics. It's about um, history. Okay. It's about psychology. There's a lot in this. The spider. The spider. Okay. The spider here uh, being tangled up in something. Tangling. Um, trying to tangle someone up into some sort of web that they they created this could be like a web like a network um keeping someone stuck in a web of a network of um, negative energy creating a web of lies deceit despair um feeling stuck feeling trapped right the spider spider energy now i can see the spider too on a positive note you know, in different cultures, not all, you know, the spider isn't necessarily a negative thing. Okay. So it just depends. But in this case, with these cards, the spider represents focus, planning, and digesting. So it was preventing someone from being able to focus, to plan for their future, and to digest, um, to release what no longer serves them. Um, it was being caught up, you know, being caught up and binding someone to a place in time, a thought, a feeling. Okay. Show me more about the spider, the spider work, because this is like spider magic or some type of 
yeah, transformation. You see this here, it came out in reverse. This is about not being able to transform a situation, a mindset. This is about resisting change. Someone trying to create an environment where someone wasn't able to transform or digest something and be reincarnated into a new version of themselves. It was binding. It was entrapment. It feels like predatorial uh, transformations and reverse. It's like, yeah, you can't transform. You can't move on from this. We're going to keep you trapped in fear. Um, you'll miss this gateway, this portal here. You have a moment in time to like get through that gateway, that portal to transform, to become a new version of yourself. It's like someone's wanting someone to miss that window of opportunity. I keep hearing it's a window of opportunity. Um, let's keep them stuck in the past. Let's keep them dwelling on these fears. Let's bind them, right? Let's bind them. And they could even come off as someone who's very biblical, right? They might be by the book here. They might come off as very legalistic, but this, this energy here doesn't feel like it's coming from someone that believes in a God or a, believes in a higher vibrational power. Like this is all about control. That's why I feel someone's ancestors have stepped in. So now we're going to look more at this transformation. Okay. This could have something too to do with a Scorpio. Show me this transformation. The house. The house is about feeling like, um, feeling stable. You know, it's about stability. It's where we go for comfort, right? Normally a house is where it's our foundation. It's where our heart is, right? It's about the heart, the heart space. Feeling good within yourself. Feeling um, grounded and stable. So we're going to look at the house. Yeah, stability, stagnation, and family. This could have had a lot to do with someone's family. Okay, family members, extended family members. This could have had a lot to do with that. Trying to keep you stagnant. Trying to like um, involve other family members. Uh, disrupting someone's stability. Keeping them from being able to transform um, and have some sort of stability. Be independent like this lone wolf here. Okay. I almost feel this energy of someone not wanting to be a part of someone's pack or someone rejecting someone because of their lineage or because of, um, let's see, why were they? Let's see, why were these family members or extended family members rejecting this person here? Or making them, wanting them to stay stagnant or stuck. We have the eel and the body. The body. The eel and the body. So the eel is usually something shocking. Okay. But there's something here about the body. I heard the body of Christ. Okay. That may or may not resonate. But that's what I heard. The body of Christ. So it could have had something to do with religion. The eel is what lurks, electricity and dishonesty, okay? Dishonesty, but it could also be something shocking. Okay, let's look at the body. Just give me a second. The body, joys of the body, sorrows of the body, and the senses. This is about sexuality. Someone could have been lying about their sexuality 
or they didn't like that somebody has sex appeal or someone could have been more beautiful. Okay. This was about jealousy, envy, um, you know, someone being more physically attractive, um, lying about someone's sexuality or wanting someone to be seen in, in a negative, their sexual side as something negative. Okay. Or someone has a distorted view maybe on like, um, they could have a distorted view on like sexuality. Okay. That's kind of what's coming through. And it could have something to do with a family. Could have something to do with an extended family. Has a lot to do with someone's body. Uh, even something shocking could have happened to someone's body here. Okay. I feel like it's very feminine, whatever this energy is. So someone could have a distorted view. They could be sexist. Thank you, spirit. Somebody's family members are sexist. Okay. They have um, a distorted view on the female and her body or something to do with like not honoring the feminine energy in the family. All right. Show me more about the body. Bravery. Yeah. So we have bravery here. Bravery. Plunging in, making decisions and fear. So somebody wanted to be, in, somebody wanted someone to be in fear about going after their desires or their passions. Um, it could also be about oppressing someone's like oppressing someone throughout their childhood, um, you know, being in a domestic abuse situation and not feeling supported. Um, this can also be about um, I, having a pregnancy at a young age. Okay. This could be about a, a lot of different things. But it has to do, again, with, like, fear. Wanting someone to fear the unknown or trying to keep someone trapped in some sort of cycle. Show me bravery. Unrequited love. Yeah, there was no love in this family. Unrequited love. Okay. It's right here. There's no love here. This was all about what things look like on the surface. This is superficial horse shit. Okay. Um, this is about someone trying to keep up with appearances. Someone knowing that they're in a loveless situation. Okay. This is about someone not gaining support from a family. And then having extended family or other family trying to keep them trapped in some sort of cycle that wasn't healthy. Okay. It wasn't for their highest good. Someone wanting them to stay trapped in fear. Someone, someone not wanting someone to like um, be resurrected, um, come back reincarnated, reinvented, being able to transform a situation. This is all about like mental magic, um, tangling someone up in a web, you know, binding them to the past, by trying to bind someone to the past, basically. Okay. 
Yeah, trying to make someone feel like they're they should be persecuted or something here. We have orphan. So someone could have wanted them to feel abandoned as well by a family. Okay, or someone could have a fear of abandonment. They could have, like, used those fears. Maybe someone knew that this person had a fear of abandonment. Or they knew this person um, was struggling with certain phobias. So they were using that as a tactic to keep them entrapped in some sort of, um, you know, entangled in some sort of binding spell of the past. Show me this orphan. Yeah, keeping them in two minds. It could be a Gemini or it could just be someone who's like, they can't see their way forward. They feel blindfolded because they're in two minds. Do I go left? Do I go right? I don't know what to do. Somebody didn't know how to move forward. Show me more about the two of swords. Yeah, it's unfair. It's unjust. So someone turned their back on a situation that was unrequited love. Okay. And I see someone here has a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. They went after something new or they're going after something new here. Could be financial, could be love. But whatever it is, they're going to move forward quickly and they're going to have victory and success. Could be a Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone is, um, there could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here in the reverse. This is someone who's like stingy. It could be an ex-husband, a husband, or it could be like a boss, or it could be like um, an earth sign male that feels burdened that someone else has a brand new opportunity and they're moving forward very quickly towards their success and their victory or they could have felt burden like they were going to have to pay for somebody to like travel or they're going to have to pay out some sort of money because someone left and went forward or something to do with money finances and feeling burdened about someone leaving carrying some sort of burden yeah someone's going towards their two of cups they're going towards a new soulmate connection here. They might be at a distance or show me the two of cups. They could be a Leo, a Cancer, more Leo. So there's a Leo here that's upset that somebody else has a new soulmate. Okay. They're heartbroken. It's like this person delayed things. They delayed something. They had an opportunity. Here's that pinnacle. They had an opportunity, but it feels like they didn't have the strength or the courage or they didn't see something clearly. And they missed an opportunity. That window, this window of opportunity closed in the past. And now someone else, now someone has a new soulmate here. Somebody could be getting in a higher level commitment, maybe with a Taurus. There might be some engagement party coming up. You could have Taurus in your chart. Okay, show me the current energy. Someone's going to come in quickly and they're going to speak their truth. They could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, or they could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. You could have two different people here trying to come towards you quickly, bravely, boldly. Someone wants to talk their truth. They want to speak their truth, but they also want to like, 
They're very passionate about whatever it is they have to say. They're being brave. They're being bold. Somebody wants someone to let their guard down. Yeah, someone's been missing someone. They feel like someone might be mad at them. Show me the King of Swords. There could be a King of Swords here that wants to heal something with someone. They want to come back towards someone. Yeah, they want to date someone or they're going to ask someone out. It could be an Aquarius. They just want to heal a situation or they watch someone online or they see someone as a star or a healer. Yeah, the tower. It's like someone's surprised by someone's beauty or their star quality or that the fact that they're a healer. Okay. Let's look at this Knight of Wands. His bold, brave self here. Who is he? Yeah, someone's like in their feelings, they're upset by an action that they took maybe too quickly or they want to come back towards someone who is emotionally imbalanced or they upset them. They're spying on someone. They could have a Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be this person here. This could be the same person and their feelings watching someone from a distance feeling like they lack integrity or they didn't use integrity um, and they want to rush in and speak some truth. You know, they could have acted immature. They're disappointed because they didn't get wish fulfillment. Yeah, tower. Something came to an end suddenly because somebody lacked integrity. Okay, so I do see someone coming towards you. They might be trying to set the record straight or trying to like re do like a, a repair job on a situation. <laughs> Something could have got out of hand um, based on a lie, based on someone's lack in integrity some sort of gossip or lie or slander, you know, someone could have told them that you were doing something evil to them, right? To keep the two of you at odds, to keep you from coming together and having peace and harmony. But you're like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm a lone wolf. I'm over here just be myself, you know, like, what's all this hate at about, you know, what's this damn rabbit hole you're trying to have me go down, like, why are you trying to trap me for, I'm just a little rabbit, right, like, I didn't do shit to you, over here plotting and planning on someone, you don't even know what the hell their problem is, Like, what the hell is wrong with you? It's obvious, like, there's gossip, lies, or slander involved, you know? When you have someone that's, like, doing something sketch towards you, you don't really know this person. They don't really know you. It's like, it's obvious, right? There's some sort of gossip, lies, or slander involved, right? It's like, okay. Like, why else would they have you as a target? You know what I mean? Like, why else would they target you? When you don't even hang out with nobody, you just stay to yourself. <laughs> you know, it's obvious. And the only other person you know knows of them or you know they're somehow connected to this person from the past. It's like, okay, so you know where the bullshit was started from, right? You know the snake. Where it all originated from. <laughs> you know where it all originated from. The original snake. Right? The root of the problem. You're like, okay. I see what this is about. 
right? We can put two and two together over here. We're not dummies. All right, you guys want to do some Q&A? Let's do this. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you for joining. What is coming in my love life soon next? Ripping deep. Spirit, what's coming in um, towards Rip and Deep and their love life? Show me the energy. You have the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, and the Death card reversed. So here we are, Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Death card reverse. This is like, um, I feel like passion being reignited, some sort of truth or clarity is coming through. You're going to have some sort of victory when it comes to you feeling emotionally fulfilled. Could have a Scorpio, a Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But it's like, this is victory and success. This is like cutting out what doesn't bring you joy. Right? Cutting away what doesn't make you feel emotionally fulfilled. What doesn't bring you happiness. Cutting it away. And then, you know, there's something here or someone you're real passionate about. Or they're real attracted to you. But it's like a, it feels like. Just becoming passionate about life again, you know, something's being brought back from the dead. There's an opportunity to like feel passionate about life again or feel passionate about someone again. Show me the death card in reverse. Okay, maybe someone wasn't honest with you. Maybe you're seeing how like... um Someone could have lied to you about a third party. Someone could have lied to you about how they felt about you. Could be a Leo, but you gain clarity. You're going to gain clarity that someone's lying. They're lying about a third party or they're lying about how they feel about you. Yeah, you could have moved on from this person because of that. Yep, but they want to come back and heal some. They're hopeful they can come back and bring something back from the dead. But I feel like you already cut this person out. Ten of Cups, you're going for your happiness here. Show me the Ten of Cups. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, someone's going to be reaching out. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're going to send you a message. The lovers, they're going to tell you they made a choice in love. Could be a Gemini. Could also be a Virgo, but someone's like, you know, if they ghosted you or if you had some sort of distance between them. Um, I feel like someone's going to try and come back around because they see you as like someone that they can be really happy with for a long time. Okay, that's what I see. It looks really good. Hi, Jot. Hi, Honcho. Um, on Jot, is Aspreet Libra loyal towards me? Uprights, yes. Reverses, no. Uprights, yes. Reverses, no. Spirit, are they loyal? Spirit said no. Hi, Lily. What the happy things come in towards me before April? Show me the good stuff coming towards Lily. Oh, you have the star. And you have a Leo. I feel like you're going to be protected. You have a lot of protection around you. You could have a Leo that's like you're fighting in your corner for you, protecting you. You could have an Aquarius. But it's like, um, you know, you have this star energy, this uh, healer energy or... You might end up in the spotlight in some way. You might feel a little vulnerable. So there's like all this protective energy around you. 
got someone fighting in your corner here, protecting you, standing up for you. See a lot of protection around you. Show me the seven of wands. Yep. You have the, an offer coming in too. Someone that might have made you feel defensive or like you had to stand up for yourself. They might be trying to come towards you with some sort of offer now. It looks like it's a good offer, but it might be moving slow. They might want to heal something with you. Show me what they're offering. They're going to be sending you some sort of love messages or they're going to travel towards you. It's like slow, then fast. So if this person was dragging ass in the past, they were making you feel like you needed to defend yourself or you were fighting in this connection alone. That looks like that's changing. It's going from the seven to the eight. I see a lot of equal give and take, a lot of like giving and receiving. Okay, you could be dropping an Aries Leo Sag, a player or someone who... Um, or this person might need it to get a divorce or separate or end a contract before they could come towards you. I feel like they're going to come towards you now. Okay. All right. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. I'm on Jasmine Jasmine. Yes, the list is open, guys. All you have to do is hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed and put your question in the chat box for me. Khalid. Khalid Muhammad. Okay, well, you're entitled to your opinions, Khalid. And, um, yeah... I don't know where you live, but in my country, we have freedom of religion and we have freedom of speech. Okay. All right. Ronnie Helder. Well, a random come back in my life. Rainy, rainy. Well, a random come back in my life. Are they coming back? Yes. Yes, they will, but they're not taking action right now. They are going to come back. It goes from the five to the four. So it's like there was conflict. They're going to try and come back. And there's like a time period where there's no, no conflict. There's a time period of healing. Time period of healing after conflict. No one's taking action, but someone's going to come back. You see the ghost and uh, someone could have ghosted someone. They're going to come back in the future because they see you as something attractive, something they're passionate about. Um, when are they coming? Yeah, see, here they are. They will be coming back towards you. When are they coming? Because they're attracted to you. They might come back too and want to move in or take something to the next level. Four of Wands. Could be four weeks. They could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. But they're going to build up the courage to try and like bring something together is what I feel. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Manasavi Sharma. Hello. What essay feel for me? His current feelings for me. Show me the current feelings. They feel like you're getting over some sort of disappointment. They also feel like you feel like they snuck away. Like they left you in a time of need. Like they left you when you needed them to be there for you emotionally. But they feel like you're getting over it. 
they feel kind of slippery. I was going to say slimy, but they feel their energy feels kind of slippery. Like you get kind of close and then they slip away and then it's a real slippery energy. Like they slip through your fingers. Suman. Hi, Suman. What does just Jasper truly feel about me? What does Jasper feel about Suman? They feel like there's unfinished business. They feel like they're getting karma for not closing out a cycle or something that they did. Yeah, because they walked away emotionally and they want to come back. It goes from the eight to the seven. They're going to try and come back towards you. If there was some sort of confusion or illusion or conflict, they're going to try and come back. They might feel like they're getting some sort of karma. What's their karma? Good or bad? Yeah, something to do with the past. Something to do with a soulmate from the past. I see this person. If they left, they want to come back towards you. They're feeling nostalgic. They might have lied about something. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. They could have lied. They could have been dishonest about something. They feel like they're getting karma for it. Something they did in the past. All right. Let's see. Where am I at? Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Strawberry World. I'm doing good, Rhonda. Thank you, honey. I hope you're doing good, too. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Can you see what is on Rex's mind, feelings, when it comes to our connection? You have the world. Huh. Show me the world. Ugh. They might be drinking a lot, or they might feel like you've been drinking. I'm not sure what the Seven of Swords is. Hold on, because I have this Seven of Swords energy. I don't know. what. Why is this here? Something to do with a passionate new beginning. They may feel like you feel like they snuck off to have passion with someone else. Like they've been drinking or being selfish or something. They may feel like you feel like you couldn't compromise with them or they weren't making a choice. And they let a cycle end. Show me the world. Yeah, they're going to reach out though. They're trying to build up the courage. Yeah, but they might not tell you the truth about something. They might still keep you in the dark. What's the Two of Swords? They're going to try and avoid an ending, but they're going to breadcrumb. Show me the sun in reverse. Yeah, they have a choice in love, so they might keep you in the dark about that. It could be a Gemini, Leo, Pisces. But they are going to be like wanting to talk to you. I do see that in the future. Can you show me when? When are they going to reach out? Hmm. 13. I got 13. 13. I think you got that last time I did your reading. You got 13. Show me death reverse. Four. Four weeks. 13 days to four weeks. And I have the reunion card here. I don't know what that's about. All right. All right. Strawberry World. Does Sahil have feelings for me? Spirit uprights, yes. Reverses, no. Y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Yes, they do. They see you as someone that's very beautiful. They see you as someone they can have growth and abundance with. Okay. You might be really fertile too. Okay. So I would keep that in mind. Also, someone around you could be pregnant. 
All right. You're welcome, Ripping Deep. Thank you, Strawberry Roll, for subscribing. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Manis V, will SA come back into my life? Yes or no? Spirit said yes. You got the Wheel of Fortune. This is a yes. Also, your um, finances could be improving, or this could be like a lucky time period for you. So, Rosie, current feelings of my person, cancer towards me, Leo, and separation. Hi, Rosie. Current feelings of my person, cancer towards me, Leo, and separation. Something about um, they might feel like you gain clarity about something or you've been enlightened about something or you're no longer stuck on them. Or a situation. Yeah, they feel like justice stepped in to balance out a situation. Since you have clarity now, you can you see something here from a new perspective. You see how something needed to be balanced out. Yeah, because something wasn't going in your favor before. So justice stepped in to balance everything out for you. Yeah, that's what I see. Show me their feelings. I don't see a lot of feelings here. I feel like they walked away emotionally, but they might be trying to come back and heal a situation after you released them or they released you. To be honest with you, that's what I see. You guys are welcome. All right. Momos. Momos, did you already post your question? Let me look up here. Okay, I don't see your question, Momos. But yeah, if you want to like, share, and subscribe, or just subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. How the person that I saw on bike that night feel for me. Okay, here we go. How does the person that I saw on the bike that night feel for me, Momos? They might feel like you were up to something or they caught you doing something. You know, this could have been them catching you, checking them out. You know what I mean? Like they feel like they caught you checking them out. Yeah, they feel like uh, you're real attracted to them, that you're you're passionate about them, but they might also feel like you could be a player or a breadcrumber. Like maybe you're a real, um, like a social person, like you have a, a social group, or maybe you're into like... Um, Maybe you're real fast. They might see you as someone who might move fast. A go-getter. Doesn't like to waste time. They might feel like you're going to ask them out. That's kind of what I feel from that. All right, here we go. Any emotion, Spirit? Spirit said yes, there is some emotions, but it might start off small, just a small gesture like, hey, you want to hang out or something like that. Okay. Might be something small. I don't see any big, nothing big there. It's something small, like a text or... All right, so I'm done with Q&A, guys. I'm just going to pull some cards here to see who's coming towards us in love. Who's coming towards the collective in love? You guys have a Libra. 
who's coming towards the collective in love. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Whoever's coming towards you guys in love, I feel like things are going to be fair and balanced. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra. Show me the Ace of Cups. We have a Gemini. And we have a Libra, a Gemini, and Aquarius. Or someone wants to comment and express how they feel. They want to balance something out. It could be an air sign. I have a lot of air and I have water. They're coming in to express how they feel. There's someone here that wants to tell you the truth about how they feel. Yeah, they're going to be asking you out on a date. Okay, collective. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining. And I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.